Hey, what's up guys? Robert Oliver, Anti-Fragile Training. Today I'm here to speak about something that, well, if you're anything like me, this has cost you some serious performance at some point. And the idea today is overtraining, something I wanna speak on um, that a lot of us like aggressive go-getters like to push by the wayside and not really acknowledge until it's too late. I wanna kinda shine a light on it, how I've dealt with it in an unconventional way because like I, I get it, I'm not one to lay down. Um, so for real, like if you're anything like me, this video will make sense and then hopefully you can apply um, these technological advancements to focus some of your obsessiveness on the recovery process and then stay to it. So like for real, if you've been following me for the last couple months, you know I like to hit it almost every day. I mean, I like to hit it every day. If I could, I'd work out 14 times a week. I like intense cardio in the mornings. I like to, to get in some functional movement training. Um, I like to lift weights, like all that. And the reality is my body doesn't always agree. Now, I wanna bring back to one quick idea that if you can measure something or if you can track it, you can improve it. And that's where this idea of HRV, heart rate variability, has been an absolute game changer for me. It's probably, along with the Juve Light, the biggest piece of tech that I would recommend checking out. Um, I'm gonna shine a light here on the Whoop strap. Um, this is the Whoop 3.0. And what this does is it tracks your HRV throughout the day. It gives you a recovery score to work off of, and you're able to start tweaking things in your training program to ultimately improve it, recover faster, and then hit it harder. I've come to the realization, even with this, I'm very, very stubborn, that if you're not taking the proper time off, what happens is we start out, some of us actually don't start out with the right mechanics, but like bench press, for example, you know, we're supposed to have our braced spine, shoulders externally rotated, this, that, and the other thing, and we're able to, to hit it for a certain amount of reps. But what happens is, as our HRV dips and our recovery you know, goes to shit, our body overcompensates to get the routine done, but not in a manner that's good for you. So you can build negative muscle memory. Um, you can really fuck your stuff up over the long term. So, and I've done that, right? I brought the, the recovery down to like 15%. It's like, you know what, F it. I'm gonna hit it really hard today. And the result has been, every single time, some damage, something that has kept me at less than 100% for an ongoing time. Um, so start with this and then start making tweaks. Start you know, looking at ways you can improve your sleep, uh, different foods you can eat. Like one eye-opening thing was if I had more carbs, and as people know, like I, I am more paleo, very low carb in general, but if I eat more carbs, I'm able to train more and it reflects in my recovery. Now, every person is gonna be different as we have different reactions to different foods, but I just recommend getting granular if you really wanna maximize your peak performance. Um, and one other thing too, the, the cool part about this is it's not always specific to training. Our body doesn't only respond to training. Like we constantly have stressors and other things that have very real effects on our well being and our recovery. And if we don't acknowledge those, um, they're gonna show up when we're trying to train. If you're not sleeping enough, if you're chronically stressed, if you're dehydrated, those are all gonna show up on the HRV front. The nice part is you're able to get ahead of it, acknowledge it, and then improve it. So through this process of continual refinement, it had to start with me like acknowledging that, hey, overtraining is a real thing. I'm gonna end up doing more damage than not if I don't you know, get on top of this, but I've been able to improve things and continue moving forward. So check out Whoop. Um, I've got like a 10% code or whatever down in the bio here. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it, subscribe. I really appreciate all of that. Um, but let's keep getting after it. I got a lot of cool new workouts coming. So seriously, stay subscribed, stay in tune, and we're gonna keep just getting after it. This is anti-fragile life, baby. Stop playing with